What's up, man? 25 fans. In today's video, we're going to be looking at our run defense out of the sub 416 package. And uh, to illustrate this, we're going to be using the. Uh, remember, we have the Carolina playbook here. And to use this, we're going to be in the pistol formation. And we're going to be taking a look at uh, some, some, some runs from this. Uh, more specifically, um, the power O and the counter. Um, if I can find a a good pistol to run out of here. A lot of people have been using the pistol slot. Um, they don't have the power, do they? We'll use the pistol strong, then that's fine. Pistol strong is probably a little better, in my opinion. And we'll take a, we'll take a look at the stretch and the counter. Um, real first, I want to illustrate this uh, package here. The play that we're going to be using is the sugar to buzz invert. And this is, again, for situations where you need to stop the run. What you want to do is you want to just base a line and press. And then what's going to happen, and then what I want you to do is click on Devon Miller and just re-woods him. And real quick, I want to illustrate what's going to happen if they call a pass play. So you see, when they call a pass play, you're going to get pressure off the right edge really, really fast. You see how fast Von Miller came that time? And it's it's a simple setup. You, you just re-blitz one guy and baseline and press. And so it, it adds to this run defense, I think, really um, makes the run defense a little better, in my opinion, because it's still viable as a pass defense, short yardage-wise. Now let's go over the run defense portion. Your job on this is to use your Carter, and I like to get him into the middle of the field. So now we're balanced. You see we have four on the left side, and then we have the safety on the right for four on the right, and then we have a guy in the middle. So we play a numbers game. And now we're going to see they're going to run stretch to the right. We're just going to flow to the outside and, and just set the edge. That time I did a horrible job of that. But what we want to do is we want to set the edge. That's our responsibility. The four-on-four four is going to contain the run to the inside. Um, but when they go to the outside like this, you have to get out there with your user player, set the edge. Here you see I do a much better job, and we lock the run up. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, inside zone split. In my opinion, one of the better runs in the game. It's very difficult to stop this. How we can maybe contain it with our run defense. So you see here, inside zone run split. We just come up the A-gap. And, and try to wrap him up. That time, Gore made a tremendous move on me. But, you see, I was in position. And like I said, when we slide Cromartie in, that makes it all the more important. That's why you get a Cromartie and slide him in. Uh, and again, you see that? You just come up the middle. And that's probably the best way to stop the inside zone run. Um, I did say, I think it's the best run in the game. But when you sell out like this, and you contain the edge, it's kind of hard for you to as a running back to get going when this is a situation. And then real quick, we'll take a look at the stretch to the left side. We'll motion Hunter over. And you see here, see it's an outside run. i got to get to that edge. And you see how the, the formation does a really good job of containing the run to the outside. Um, in my opinion, that's what makes this run defense so good is because you do need to get to the edge sometimes, but a lot of times you really you just need to be in position. And, and that's really the key here. And then real quick, we'll take a look stretch right. Again, you just got to get, see that time I didn't get to the edge. And that was the situation where I relied on the formation. But it's my job to get to the edge as the user player. Um, if we didn't, if we were to not use or anybody on this play, we'll just show you user and a defense alignment what happens. You see it does a pretty, it, it's a serviceable job. It's just not, it doesn't lock stuff up. Whereas if we're user in Carter here, we're getting deep, deep. I like to be about 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. Snap, go. He sees that. Okay, so we can just immediately crash to the outside and contain it. Yes, there's a cutback lane. I understand that. But again, that's just part of run defense. And like I said, when, when you flow in, and I mean, another thing is, like, if there's a cutback lane, you can start in and then go to the outside and then get wide. That time, more just missed a tackle. But you see we're in position to stop some of the better runs in the game. And then I want to see if I can find a... Here we go. Here, so there's going to be a zone run to the inside now. Um, about as close to the inside run that we can get here. And here we go, inside run. We just fill the A-gap, and that's kind of our job. And that's what I like about this formation is if we wanted to, if we really wanted to get streamlined here, we could just come up here and sit in this A-gap. And now we just sit there. We just sit there, let the formation do its job. That is a possibility. Um, it's not always the best. Uh, it doesn't always work out well for us in the end. 
uh, just because of the, you know some of the some of the better runs this year are inside zone uh, type runs, and if we're sitting in the middle, it allows it you know you know just kind of sitting here. It's I don't know. It, 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 I've never really done this a whole lot in game, but if you just sit here, you're automatically going to get blocked. It's going to be like a quick four up the middle. Whereas if you're off cover off the line, then you can kind of at least have some forward momentum built up. And get down and make a play on the ball. Here forward momentum. And then I just get down. And I've got to get to the edge there. Um, the three times Gore's broken runs to the outside. I have not set the edge. So that's just kind of the thing with this run defense. Yes it is very effective. But it's also very important. That you get to that edge. And when you go to the edge. Your linemen almost all the time make the tackle for you. So guys that's the basic run defense here. Uh, yes you're cover to coverage. But you you when you have two deep, your user in one one of them. You got pressure coming up the, off the right edge, and if you can stop the run, guys, with this, this is a really good play to use. So thanks for watching today. If you guys need any questions or need further explanation on how to use this play, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I usually don't stop, um like to sell out against the run with something like this. Unless uh, they they're have a heavy run tendency out of a certain formation, or it's like third and one. This is I've had a lot of success with this play on the goal line and in the red zone. So be sure to uh, add this play to your arsenal. You're going to get right edge pressure, and you're also going to have really good run defense, in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.